This one is a data sufficiency question, appeared in Tamsa 2014, question 63. Easy question. Topic from which this question appeared is equations and number properties. Right? Actually, I'll be easy on a question. We'll have a look at the question. What is the value of x? Right? Two statements follow this. The first statement is x square equals 4, and the second one is x is less than 0. statement x value as usual, let's get clarity on the following things. When is the data sufficient? In the question, answer. Right. In the question, what is the value of x? So, what is the value of x? In the answer, x is equal to 7. x is equal to 2. You should be able to come up with one value for x. If you say x is equal to 3y, then we are not coming up with an unique answer. So, the answer to this question, x is equal to 3 x is equal to 3 number. If you say data is sufficient, you can ask the question. The data is sufficient if I am able to find one unique value for the value of x. So, x is 7, x is 2. If I am able to come up with a unique value for x, then the data is sufficient. Right? So, we got clarity on this. Next step, let's evaluate statement 1. As usual, when we are evaluating statement 1, keep in mind we are going to evaluate statement 1 alone. Statement 2 and Paka Koda Venda. Let's look at just statement 1. What is statement 1? x square equals 4. x square 4 are the x kenana value arc mudio. x could be a 2. In that case, x square is going to be 4. There is one more possibility. x could be a minus 2. In the value, x square is going to be equal to 4. So statement 1 which answer x unique answer varada varala x renda x minus 2 hour if you go back to the previous slide and check out we would have said eppa data sufficient when i am able to get a unique answer for the value of x inge vandha namak unique answer we are not getting a unique answer therefore statement 1 is not sufficient statement 1 sufficient lena enna answer choice la eliminate panna mudiyum definitely answer choice 1 eliminate panniralam we can also eliminate answer choice 4, which says each statement is independently sufficient. Statement 1 is sufficient, each statement is independently sufficient. So, what are we left with? We are left with answer choices 2, 3, or 5. That is the step. Statement 2 evaluate. Even before you, you quick try statement 2, pause the video, check that, and then play it again. I am going to the next step subsequently. Statement 2 or evaluate we are going to evaluate only 2. We are going to evaluate statement 2 alone. In fact, statement 1 na kura mudi So you don't get confused by it. Statement 2 tells us that x is less than 0. What do x is a negative number. Negative number x na x kenna value x can take infinite values. X could be minus 1 x one minus 7 minus 8.2 x value we will not be able to come up with a unique value for x. So statement 2 alone is also not sufficient. 2 matra sufficient alena. answer choice eliminate What else can we eliminate? We can eliminate answer choice 2 also. So we have eliminated 1 and 4 with statement 1. We have eliminated state answer choice 2 once you have realized that statement 2 is not sufficient. So we are left with the answer choice 3 or answer choice 5. 3 or 5 one every decide panna porom 3 na rendu statement is setha answer varum 5 na rendu statement is setha la answer varadu so next step obviously is to combine the two statements i would suggest pause the video combine money or unique answer varadha nu parunga vandadna choice 3 is the answer varlena choice 5 is the answer i'm going to go to the next step which is combining the two statements rendu statement a combine panna namak enna la information irukku x square equals 4 adoda setha x is less than 0 Statement 1 learn again at the x one could be a 2 or x could be minus 2. If then we the statement 1 learn the three. Statement 2 learn the other one, x one negative number guaranteed at the x negative number are in the x one the two are irkam mudia. So in the end statement a combined manna, we are able to come up with a unique answer for x. We can say that x is actually equal to minus 2 number solar mudio. Because by combining the two statements, we are able to come up with a unique answer. Statements 1 and 2 together are sufficient. Let's see what is the answer. Rend statement is sufficient. Data insufficient. So answer choice 5 can be ruled out. 
So choice three is the correct answer. Tansert preparation assistance. Ascent Education conducts classes for Tansert at Chennai. Faculty members are in Anna University Tansert toppers, Anna University MBA Pandanga, I am very top business school graduates Pandanga. If you want Tansert previous year question, visit the website that's given there. If you want to contact us, reach us on this mobile number 9600048484. Visit our YouTube channel youtube.com slash user slash Tansert MBA. We update questions of past year Tansert frequently there. It is completely free. If you are not in Chennai and you are looking for preparation assistance, you can subscribe to this channel and make the best out of it.